That's it. I am finally done. Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. It's about 3.30 a.m. in the morning, just getting a start to my day. I usually start about 3 a.m. every day. Um, that's just the way I roll. You know, I've always been an early riser. My dad was a farmer. <laughs> I guess I get that from him. But uh, I just wanted to share this video, you know, uh, to let you know that I've finally finished my item specifics. I'm done. Okay. Um, took me about three and a half weeks to go through them all. And one thing that really helped me was that, you know, in a previous video, I shared that I was revamping my store and I was kind of going through all my inventory, my entire inventory. At the time, I had about 2000 cards or so. And I was just looking at the cards and determining you know, which ones had the higher value cards and which ones were kind of the lower value cards. And the lower value cards I've all taken down off of eBay and they're sitting in a box right now. There must be like five or 600, maybe 800 cards. I'm not exactly sure, but I've, I've taken a lot down and a lot of those had at least seven to 10 recommendations. So when I took those off of eBay, it wiped those recommendations out. And now I'm down to about... I think I just cleared 1,300. So I've gone from about 2,000 cards to 1,300 cards. And these are what I feel are my best cards, cards that I can actually command a higher price for. That's what helped me a lot, because if I had done my entire 2,000 lot, <laughs> I'd still be working on it. But, you know, I didn't want to have to do that. So I'm finally, I mean, I finished it the other day. I went in and just did them. You know, now I'm not talking about the required ones. I didn't have any required ones, you know, before these changes that eBay made, I had all of my listings, all the blue, you know, circle fields were filled in all, all the, you know, proper uh, item specific fields were filled in. They were perfect. But after the changes, you know, most of my listings had anywhere between five and 10 recommendations. So that's what I went in and did uh, in the hopes to boost some sales. Now I gotta be honest with you, my sales have suffered. Okay, I've been making sales, but nowhere near what I have been making in the past. But I guess you just, you know, with the new changes, we gotta wait till everything resets. But anyway, I, I just went in and made those changes, and that's what helped me a lot. Um, because now I have the, you know, I have nothing but quality cards that I feel are my best sellers, and I've done research on them and everything. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. You know, now that I, I can go back to my normal routine because before the changes, I had a certain routine that I was doing, where I was refreshing certain categories and and refreshing certain parts of my. Um, my store and it was generating sales when I first started this I had like 11 pages at 200 per page you know but once I eliminated a lot of those um, those uh, cards it kind of knocked it down to about seven pages but still that's a lot of item specifics now I didn't have you know I had it set up as 200 per page but the thing is I didn't have to do 200 on every page because I had done some before, you know, when I first started this process. And I was just so relieved because I just got tired of seeing page after page after page with, you know, seven recommendations, eight recommendations, 12 recommendations, whatever it said, you know. And I have to go into each individually. Now, I was able to, you know, do some of the fields in bulk, but not all of them and I could only do one item specific at a time in bulk like if it was from San Francisco California I could you know populate that field in multiple items in bulk but a lot of times there was no way you could do it in bulk because there were so many different cards different cities different uh, content on the cards so I had to do them one at a time and it was a bear I'm gonna tell you it was a bear I feel bad for people that, uh, you know, have like 25,000 listings. I don't know what they're doing. 
and listening to Don the Auction Professor, he suggested that he doesn't just throw anything and everything up there. You know, he researches everything and he puts all his best stuff up there. That way he can command higher prices. And that's what I started doing. And now it's at 1300 and I'm very happy with that. And let me show you just some of the cards that came in. I haven't got these up on uh, eBay yet, but these are just such cool cards. Let me grab some of them here. These are uh, all out of the 1900s ships. I mean, check a look at that. Isn't that cool? And some of them, you know, have postmarks on them. And, oh, this one's nice. Look at this. Look at that ship. And then I've got this with the sailboats. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that gorgeous? These are just some. Oh, here's a really old one. Let's see if I can get a date on this one. No, it's not got a date, but I can tell it's really old. It's got some damage to it, unfortunately. But, you know, considering the fact that it's over 100 years old. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that awesome? And there's the back of the card right there. And here's a nice one here. Some of these are a little bit newer. And I also got some interiors. Like here's an interior of a ship that had a pool in it. Pretty cool stuff. So I'm very excited about these new cards because I'm able to command a higher price for these because of the fact that I focused on cards that were like out of the 1900s, you know, between 1900 and 1910. In fact, I have one card. I've already listed it on eBay. And it had, you know, some of these cards had the date written on the back. And I had one that I came across that said 1899. And that's probably the oldest card that I have now. So that was just before the turn of the century. So I'm very excited about this new change. And um, yeah, it, it's going to take, you know, people time to get used to my new pricing structure. My price points were between, I'd say, 7 and ten dollars you know that seemed to be working for a little while but that was for just everything and anything type of cards okay that wasn't for cards that were like really old or dated or you know out of the you know 1900s or anything and after i made the changes uh, and since i don't have a whole lot of those cards left i changed my pricing structure so now my price points range from anywhere from 925 on up you know, uh, some of them uh, I have it uh, like 11, 13, 15, 17, 19 dollars. And then some that are really old, I have, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars. And I've got a, a make offer tab on everything. So somebody can make me a decent offer. We can still, you know, do a deal. But because I, I made those changes, I did lose some customers, you know, some, you know, because when you were at, a, when you're at a certain price point range, uh, you gain certain amount of customers and watchers because people are interested in paying that kind of price point. But once you up your prices, once you go to a different price point, then you lose those people. I lost a lot of watchers, but you know, these are people that are used to paying you know, really low prices. And since I had a make offer tab on everything, they were really lowballing me with some prices that I was just never going to go for. So once I upped my price points a little bit, yeah, I lost some viewers. I lost, I lost that audience. But over time, when people get to see the new pricing structure and they get used to it, uh, I believe that, you know, I'll attract a new audience. I will attract new people, new watchers. So we'll see how that goes. And, uh, you know, I've looked at a lot of other sites that are selling, uh, you know, these types of postcards at the price points, and they are selling. So it's just, you know, to me, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And uh, this will take a little time. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll happen after the first of the year. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Another thing I did, like I expressed in my some of my other previous videos, is that I've expanded out. I told you that I had uh, started an account on Bonanza. Well, that's been building. And now I've actually, um, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm okay to announce that I'm also on HIP postcards. Okay. And one of the things, like I said in the previous video, that I chose not to do was cross post. 
you know, I didn't want the same cards showing up on three different platforms. I probably won't go beyond three platforms because that's about all I can handle, you know, because I'm a one person operation here. But, um, you know, I've got different cards on each platform and I understand those other platforms are going to take time to build. You know, I, I know some of you have left comments in the past where you said, well, I tried this for a month and it didn't work. Well, I don't think that way. I'm in this for the long haul. That's what you have to be if you're in business. You know, I mean, even with eBay, I have uh, been at this almost two years. And you know how eBay, you know, established eBay is. And I'm still at it. And it's been two years. So, you know, for folks that say, well, I tried that for a month and it didn't work. That mindset just doesn't work with me. Because that's like saying, you know, you open a brick and mortar store, you, you invest tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars. And what, if your sales didn't turn out the way they wanted to after the first month, you close the doors and quit? No, you don't do that. You just stay in the, you stay in the fight, you stay in the game until something happens, you know, until people start seeing a consistency. And that's why, you know, just about everybody on YouTube tells you one of the best ways you can make sales, you know, additional sales is just to be consistent in your listings. That's what people are looking for. They're looking for new items. They're looking for to see if you're, you know, listing, uh, you know, I list every day. Okay. Seven days a week. And uh, when people come to my store, when they come to my pages, they get to see new cards. They get to see new things. And like I said, with um, with me being now on three platforms with eBay, HIP, and um, Bonanza, uh, I'm putting different cards on every single platform. I, you won't you won't ever see the same card on you know two different platforms. The only way you would do something like that is if I had a, you know like an identical card in multiples. Let's say I had this card right here. Okay. And let's say I had three of them and they were exactly the same. Well, then I could put one on eBay, one on hip and one on Bonanza. And I don't have a problem doing that. So that's the way I'm doing it. And I'm really looking forward to 2022. This is what I'm, this is, I'm going to be running my business in 2022 and going forward is, you know, um, purchasing higher price cards. It will cost me a little more upfront because people are going to want more for those cards. But the thing is, I can command more money for those. You know, I'm not in this business to just break even or just make a few extra dollars. I mean, some people do that. That's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm in this to make a decent living. One of the goals I have is to make en earn enough from eBay and these other platforms so that my wife, Kim, can retire. But until that happens, you know, she still has to work. I still have to work. And that's the thing, too. You know, um, a lot of people, I think, you know, when they start a business like this on eBay or whatever platform you're selling on, you've really got to take it seriously. You've got to take you've got to treat your business like a business. And, you know, just as if you were going to a brick and mortar or, you know, some business outside the home. If you just, you know, got hired to do a job outside the home and you showed up and you just put your feet up on the desk and just pretty much did nothing all day, you wouldn't last very long. They'd probably after about two days, they'd fire you. Okay. They'd get rid of you because they hired you to do a job, you know, and to work for them. Well, it's the same thing when you own your own business. I get up every morning, 3 a.m. or so, and uh, I start my, my, start my work, you know, and I put my head down and go to work just like I would if I were working outside the home. In fact, you're going to probably work harder working, uh, you know, for yourself than you uh, will working for someone else. Because when you work for somebody else, you go, you punch a clock, you work for so many hours, you go home. You don't have to worry about anything. You know, when you work for yourself, it's all on you. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of share with you uh, what's happening with my store. Oh, and one thing I wanted to mention too. Uh, I am so excited about this. I just cleared 500 subscribers on this YouTube channel. I think I'm at 503 now. So I'm very excited about that. Very appreciative and very humbled. You know, I never thought it would get even this big. Now I know you got to get to a thousand, I think, to get monetized and so many watch hours and everything, but I'm not worried about that. You know, if and when it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, 
I'm okay with that. You know, my main goal is to help people. That's why I started on this YouTube journey. And that's always been my focus, you know. Now, like I said, if the channel gets monetized, if I start making a little money extra, that's great. But if it doesn't, that's okay too, you know. I'm having fun doing videos and just running my business and sharing with you guys my journey, okay? Well, I guess that's it for now. That's what I wanted to share. Didn't want you guys to think that I had just, you know, abandoned the channel. I know, like I said, I haven't done a video in about 11 days. I did some, take some extra time off for Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. But I'm back at it. I'm still here. Um, I'm going to go. You guys have a great day. And uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps the channel. I appreciate it. Welcome to all my new subscribers. We're up over 500 now on our way to 1,000. So keep it going. And I guess that's it for now. I'm going to go. You guys have a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye for now.